Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and I'm here in this video we're going to be exploring the new LEGO Robot Inventor, the 51515 Inventor Kit. And so I know there's already a lot of unboxing videos, I know there's a lot of lucky people that have had this way before the release. Mine just finally arrived, I have done my best to avoid many of those videos and reviews I saw just in some of the titles, just lots of people not happy and I didn't want my opinion to be biased. So. If this sounds similar to others, it's just happenstance because I have avoided all of those things. And so we're going to be unboxing this, we're going to be diving into some of the builds and then exploring this kit because for me, I've spent many years with the LEGO Mindstorms EV3, primarily the education kit that I've worked with first LEGO League, worked in a middle school. We have a robotics program, a hundred plus of those EV3s for summer camps and classes and before and after school programs and everything under the sun. So as they move to this new kind of structure and format with a brick similar to the Lego Spike Prime and some just different changes with things, I really want to go into it with an honest, my own personal thoughts and opinion. So let's dive into the contents of this box. I've All I've basically done is just kind of opened up the lid itself and I did look at one or two parts uh, prior to this recording. So let's jump on in and uh, see what we got cooking. Okay, so I, I should make note that I'm looking at this through a education lens um, because I work with schools, I work with students, and I work with educators. So this is where my thought process being, which I think can sometimes be a little different if you're a hobbyist or just someone who likes to, to build with Lego in general. Or if it's just you know just you and and your kids at home, or just you at home by yourself. And so when you open up the box, you can see this inside. Uh, one thing that's different is it has a layout, a suggested layout of how to organize your parts, which is great in theory. I know that if I'm thinking about this in school, this cardboard box is going to last all of about I don't know 20 minutes, and there's no way kids are going to line those up in there. Now, if you had sorting trays that you could build, some of you have laser cutter some of you have some really cool engineering classes where you could create cardboard um, walls and exteriors that would be really cool and then you could just further structure some supports around the edges and then that i think would be would be pretty cool but you're probably going to need to think about some storage containers and so um for me at this time i've just got some some clear tubs and i've got some some of you may recognize these. Rest in peace to one of the coolest kits ever. I've got some of these old Lego uh, kits with these lids that work out really well. And so, you know, if you know about 6028334, you know how amazing these kits were back in the day. But these are going to work really well, I think, for some parts. So I've got four of those I'm going to be using. In terms of the materials, um, I'm not going to go through all of these. Obviously, we've got our, our pegs, which is going to be helpful. Um, some beams and I don't know I have to look at some of the new pieces but just as I'm looking like this seems to be like a new piece which I really really like um, lots of colors different colors especially if you are using the, the, the spike prime kit and if you've been using the spike prime we kind of have this awesome kind of color display uh, some variety of different colors and the robot inventor kit while it doesn't have the same color scheme it does have some some colors the, the teal the the black obviously is there, the gray, which reminds me of the Mindstorms, but there's some other little shades in there um, as well. Now, as we kind of go through some of these, you can see this kind of basically standard parts, and I'm sure there's way better videos out there. Um, it's always good to have this. I love this when I got the Spike Prime kit. I just think this is such a, a powerful piece to get building. Um, the brick itself, I think, is the exact same as the Spike Prime, just a different color. Um, so you may like that or not like it. One of the things that did surprise me um, is, I mean, we've got four motors, which are all the same, which I do think is a huge plus. Like, I like the idea of having the same size of motor, uh, which I think will be nice. But what I was, to be honest, caught off guard with was only two external sensors. Now, I know that this has um, the LED lights. I know that there's the button. I know that there's a gyro in there. Um, but, you know, I'm used to the older kits where we had touch sensors and, you know, now we've got the ultrasonic and the color. Um, you know, I think the Spike Prime had even more of that. I mean, as I'm looking at my Spike Prime, you know, I've got one of these pressure sensors in there. There's a color sensor. So, um, I don't know. I guess I was expecting maybe a few more sensors as we build, but 
you know, I, I'm not going to try to be too judgy at this point. And then the rest are just your, your basic pieces, which we'll break down here um, in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to sort these pieces into some structure that I think will work. In the end, they'll probably just end up in a tub. But I always like to at least start off with best intentions. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we will dive into um, some other builds and see how this works with the software and all that good stuff. All right, so here's how I've got basically my things organized. This is probably going to change a thousand times as I get building. Um, but I didn't want to spend money on storage. I didn't have any leftover Mindstorm EV3 bins, which I wish I, I did. Um, but this is what we've got. So I've just got these containers here and I've just organized the parts. These are what I call like vehicle parts. I know you, they're not necessarily that, but they always remind me of building stuff for like vehicles, for cars and tanks and trucks. So I've got all these pieces sorted there. These are all what I consider straight pieces. So all the straight um, parts here, but I also included, you know, the rectangle frames because those are technically, um, in my brain, I know maybe not technically, are straight. So anytime I need something that has no angles, I put those in there. These here, even though I know what I just said kind of goes against the grain, all my angled pieces, so your, your 45 and your 90 degree pieces, I keep all these here collected in one space. Now I know technically these are 90 degrees, but to me these are one cohesive kind of straight. Like I see this as like one straight piece um, where this kind of has one part and then another. I know, bear with me. These here are just all the little packs of the connector beams and pieces, and I may further sort these out, but for not, these were the packs, so I just put them in there. I kind of know in general that this is where I go, and this is probably the bin I'll, I'll go to the most. Um, I just grabbed a cheap little generic Tupperware container I had. This is the brick and the motors and the two sensors and these awesome projectile shooters, which if you're using this in the classroom, you're probably going to want to put these away because these are going to be a problem for you. Um, but I just put them in here because I think almost all times these parts are going to be on a robot. So I don't really envision seeing a need for a storage container, but I have it for now because I haven't built anything. And then... Probably what I love the most, I don't know if you have any Lego dots. I love them, my daughter loves them. Those storage containers for the dots are amazing. So I've just used two of those containers. This is basically the wheels and the gears. These are some just specific pieces that I know I just like to look for. This part here, one of my favorite Lego pieces. I know I'm not alone in that. And so I just got some pieces individually sorted. I think of these more for movement parts. And then last but not least, um, you know, your, your standard connector beams, your elongated ones. Um, we've got these in here and then your general just uh, connector parts. So I've got these sorted. So collectively, it looks like this. And then I will do my building next to it over on my building platform, which is on this table. If I just kind of scan over, it is right, right there. So it's going to be easy for me to find, sort, and build as I go. Um, and so that's my initial setup. That's the initial unboxing. I guess my thoughts on this is I think it's still too early to tell. I do love some of these new pieces. I'm intrigued by ideas that I, I, I can use this. This has my gears turning. Um, I personally love <laughs> these little shooter things, even though I know they'd be a classroom nuisance. Um, I really like these tires. Uh, they're just the standard tires, but just well designed. And I, I like the whole black fit to those. And there are just some other little nice pieces that I think are going to be cool. I mean, you know, having these pieces here just make life building so much easier for some ideas that I have. So, yeah, I'm not going to get too much into my opinions yet because I haven't used it yet. So I want to dive into the software. I want to look at some of the, the robots. I know people have already built them. I'm probably going to pick one and then I'm going to go off and start designing my own. So this is my initial unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts, comments, how you're sorting, organizing, how far you are in the builds, and um, let me know. Leave a comment. And as always, my friends, remember, stay awesome. Peace.